Welcome everyone to our annual MPA Christmas lunch and our 60th anniversary of it. Our first lunch was back in 1959. Ronnie Scott had just opened its doors for the first time. The Soviet Union landed a spacecraft on the moon. And in its former guise, the first issue of Music Week was published. Back to 2019 and our focus this year has been on lobbying government and policymakers on behalf of publishers and creators. We continue to fight to close the value gap and we are working hard at ensuring the implementation of Article 17 is as we intended. We want to strike a fair balance where creators and rights holders of music get fair reward for their creativity and hard work. We need to demonstrate to the DSPs the value of music publishing and what it brings to their business. We should be praising the better platforms and standing up to the ones who do not respect the value of us or indeed the songs we represent. The British music industry is a success and makes a big contribution to the UK economy. It contributed a staggering £5.2 billion to the UK economy last year, up from £4.5 billion the previous year. 190,000 people work in our industry and exports are worth £2.7 billion. You can only sustain and build upon this success if we have music in schools. Low funding means lots of school children are losing out on an important aspect of their education. And in the long term, our industry will lose out if we lose this talent pipeline. We have been working with UK Music campaign in the Parliament to persuade government to understand the importance of music in schools, and we will continue to do so until we see adequate changes. I'm delighted that our 2020 charity partner is Youth Music. We welcome Youth Music CEO Matt Griffiths today, and thank you to every member who has donated to this worthy organisation. Today is polling day and we need to make sure this new government understands the value of music and communicates to the public how crucial the British music industry is to our GDP. Music is the UK's second biggest export industry after financial services. It is clear that music really matters to our economy. Brexit or no Brexit, our industry will thrive. Brexit aside, our industry is going global. Something that we're really excited about is our work on worldwide opportunities. We have explored and rolled out trade missions as far afield as China and India, and we will continue to monitor and positively influence the value publishers can achieve in African countries and the world beyond. Whilst we have a long way to go, we are working hard for greater diversity in our industry. The music industry has made some improvements and it is positive that it is of such focus. We need to work together to make appropriate changes and ensure that career paths are open to all and that all are paid appropriately. We at the MPA have worked hard this year to put on lots of social events, chances to network and to learn. Thanks to all of you who have organised these and have come along. 2020 and the next decade will be huge for music publishers and our creators. As streaming subscribers and new platforms surface, we need to be ready and at the forefront of negotiations, ensuring songwriters and composers are paid fairly. AI can't replace the core of where songs come from, and we will continue to champion songwriters forever. Our two main thriving businesses, MCPS and PMRL, are performing well, and we are focused on accelerated growth. Thank you to UK Music, our friends at the Ivers Academy, and to other UK trade bodies for supporting the MPA in many projects. Thank you to the fantastic publishing talent from the industry who give their time and expertise for free to support us. Thank you to our amazing boards at PMRL, MCPS, and indeed the main MPA board. The success of the MPA wouldn't be possible without its world-class team who work so hard to make it all possible. Thank you, Paul, and the entire team, you are fantastic, and on behalf of all of the membership, thank you. Lastly, a very special thank you to Nikki Morgan and to Tom Watson, who are both stepping down as MPs. Nikki has been our Secretary for Culture and Tom our Shadow Secretary for Culture. Tom, in particular, has been a close friend to our industry and has been relentless in promoting what we do and its impact. Thank you. Now, please fill your glasses, load up your party poppers, Thanks to the music publishers, creators and the wider UK music industry. May the new year bring you health, wealth and happiness. Cheers and may the force be with you, one and all. <laughs>